Iran's UAV industry received a promising boost with the successful launch of the Mohajer UAV. Currently, a significant portion of the armed forces UAV fleet is comprised of the latest Mohajer series products. These drones have been used in different models in different roles from reconnaissance to airbase attack and even mapping missions. The first type of the Mohajer UAV, which was first developed during the eight-year war with Iraq in the 1980s war. was the Mohajer 2 M2N. The M2N UAV was unveiled for the first time in September 2014 and was used in early January 2015 in a military drill. The Mohajer 4 is a drone that belongs to the Mohajer series. The previous model, Mohajer 4 UAV, was highly utilized in reconnaissance missions for several years and was one of the most commonly used unmanned aerial vehicles. The Mohajer 4 UAV is a specialized aircraft that can detect targets up to 150 kilometers away. It has been designed specifically for aerial surveillance. The Mohajer 2 and Mohajer 4 UAV models can be launched through ground launchers and retrieved using parachutes or squads. The next type of UAV is the Mohajer 6, which is a tactical and combat drone. This UAV, which is designed for various military and civilian missions, is capable of being used in all kinds of border patrol, coastal patrol, environmental monitoring, etc. missions. Mohajer 6 is a combat reconnaissance drone with an operational range of 2,000 km. The Mohajer 6 UAV uses smart and vertical point bombs, which are in two types of optical and thermal seekers, and can carry two to four vertical bombs. In addition, a new member has been added to the family of Iran's 2000 km drones, which will increase the variety of drone products and, as a result, increase the combat power of the armed forces. Many countries today make similar drones, such as China and Israel. Israel and the US were the major pioneers of modern drones, such as the Predator, Hermes, and Heron drones. Iran has become a recent player in the drone market, increasing the range and quality of its drones. Iran's drones have their origins in the 1980s, but only in recent years has Iran been able to arm their drones and extend their range and abilities. The major issue facing drone manufacturers is making large UAVs that can both carry missiles and high-tech surveillance systems and also communicate with their base at long ranges. This aids in precision and impacts how drones can carry out attacks or monitor enemies. Iran's drones have often been unveiled in the past with claims of new capabilities, such as new optics, radar, communications, and missile systems, yet many of them don't live up to their reputations. Iran has used drones in the past that look like the US Predator and Reaper, in Syria and Iraq, and has exported drone blueprints to Hezbollah, the Houthis in Yemen, and Hamas. Iran even used drones to threaten Israel from Syria, however, many of these drones fly at low speeds, like flying lawnmowers.
and don't have large weapon payloads on board. The Russian decision to acquire Iranian Shad Kamikaze drones has changed the game because Kamikaze drones can wreak havoc at long ranges and with some precision. However, these drones are better suited to terrorizing civilians than as a strategic weapon. Iran's new drone is supposed to be able to carry a payload of some 300 kilograms and has a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. This is about half as fast as the US Reaper, and it's a payload that is about a quarter of the US equivalent. What that means is that Iran has unveiled a drone that is still a decade or two behind what its competitors have been able to create. Nevertheless Iran says its drone has the ability to carry weapons and that it has electronic warfare and intelligence systems on board. Iran unveiled the drone in a ceremony with Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi, illustrating how important this weapon is to Tehran. Iran has recently boasted of new hypersonic and ballistic missile abilities and is also expecting to import and export more defense systems.